Hey guys, welcome back. I'm going to talk today about a very, very important topic that is something that I don't think most people who are getting involved in the cryptocurrency world really understand, and it's how to evaluate the potential upside of a coin that you're thinking about investing in. Now, as the disclaimer said above, uh, I am not here to give you any investing advice. I am not a financial planner or a financial advisor. I have no professional licensing. Um, I am here just to give you some educational material just for educational purposes only. Please consult your own professional, financial professionals before making any investment decisions. Having said that, let's talk about how you evaluate the potential upside of a coin that you're looking at getting involved in. What I want to do is I want to show you a couple of coins as an example and show you how the average person would look at the upside and some of the key ingredients that they will overlook or ignore when considering which coins to get involved in. Now, let's just take a look at these four coins. And I've chosen these four coins purely at random. Obviously, Bitcoin is the name brand. Everybody knows Bitcoin. I am not advocating for any of these coins, nor am I saying that any of these coins are something you should avoid based on this analysis. There's going to be a lot of factors. This is just one factor. But let's just look at Bitcoin, IOTA, Cardano, and Litecoin. Now, at the time of this video shooting, Bitcoin is at $12,968 per coin. IOTA is at $3.08. Cardano is at $0.71 cents roughly. And Litecoin is at $211.48. Now, somebody might look at Bitcoin and say, wow, it's so expensive. I've already missed the upside. Look at Cardano. It's only $0.71. Cents. If Cardano could get to Bitcoin, I'd become a multimillionaire. So that looks like it has the most upside. Probably IOTA has the next most upside because it's a cheaper coin. But what's not being taken into account here is the global market cap for coins and then the total number of coins available for each particular coin and then that coin's percentage of the global market cap. So what do I mean by that? Let's just evaluate. Bitcoin has a maximum of 21 million coins that will ever be released into the world. There will only be 21 million coins. IOTA has 2.78 billion. Now, that's actually not true. It's actually uh, 2.78 quadrillion. However, IOTAs are priced in millions of IOTAs, which essentially means there's 2.78 billion. If that's confusing, don't worry about it. Just go with me. 2.78 billion IOTAs. Cardano, 45 billion, and Litecoin, 85 million coins. Now, let's look at some numbers, and don't let these numbers cause your eyes to glaze over or get confusing. I'm going to break this down and make this very, very clear. Just follow me, and you can watch this video a number of times. But the current price right here for each of them is at this top row. The current supply of those coins is in the second row, 16 million, 2.7 um, billion, 25.9 billion, 54.8 million. And then we have the maximum supply there will ever be in this row. So what we're doing is we're going to take the current price multiplied by the current supply, and that's going to give us the current market cap. For that coin. This is the total amount in dollars that has been invested globally into this coin. So the global market cap for Bitcoin is right now around 219, 220 billion dollars, 8.6 billion for, Car for IOTA, 18.5 billion for Cardano, and 11.6 billion for Litecoin. Now, I'm going to skip down to this global market cap, okay? The global market cap for all coins, every cryptocurrency combined at the time of this video is $637 billion. So the current percentage that Bitcoin has of the global market cap is 34.5%. That means of all the money that's been put into cryptocurrency globally, 34.5% of it is in Bitcoin versus, say, over here at Litecoin, we got 1.8%. 1.8% 1 
1.36% for IOTA and 2.92% for Cardano. So what would the potential upside be? Well, let's skip down here to where it says new price. What, what are we doing here? Well, let's say that the global market cap was to go up to $3 million, okay? That means that the existing market cap would have to have more than doubled. In fact, it would more than tripled um, from $637 billion to $3 trillion. So we're probably looking however far down the road you want to think of this. Five years, this is just a guess. When will we cross $3 trillion? And by the way, we could have we could have changed this number to any number we wanted. I'm just putting $3 trillion out there as a future number that we could look at. Well, if the coin, if Bitcoin stayed the same percentage of the $3 trillion that it is of the $637 billion, it would mean that the new coin would have a market cap of $1 trillion, which would mean that if you divide $1 trillion by the maximum supply of $21 million, we have a new coin price of $49,329 per coin, meaning we gained $36,000 per coin for a 277% return. Well, if we do all of this the same, that means that over here at IOTA, we would have actually gotten a 370% return because when you divide, if, the, if they stay, if, if IOTA continues to maintain 1.3% of the global market cap, it would mean that the new coin market cap would be $40 billion. And then, of course, dividing that by the maximum supply gives you a coin price of $14.69 versus $3.12. And we can keep doing this. Cardano would have gone from $0.71 cents to $1.94. And Litecoin would have gone from $212 to $652. So for a 277%, 370%, 171%, or 207% returns, respectively. Now, some of you are going to say, well, I think that my coin is actually going to gain market share. That's what I'm betting on. I'm betting, for instance, that IOTA becomes the solution for the Internet of Things on the blockchain. I believe that Cardano is going to become the new uh, standard for smart contracts for blockchain applications. Okay, cool. Well, I did that for you too, just so you can see. And in fact, if these grow, something has to shrink. So I actually shrank the global market cap for Bitcoin down to 25%, just as an example, hypothetically, and I more than doubled the market cap of these others. So I took IOTA from 1.36% up to 3% of the global market cap, Cardano went up to 6%, and Litecoin went from 183 to 4%. If that happened, if these did those gains in the global market cap um in their uh, in their percentage of the global market cap, um, what would happen is at that point IOTA would be worth thirty two dollars and thirty eight cents. Cardano would be worth four dollars, and Litecoin would be worth fourteen hundred dollars. And your returns would be nine hundred and thirty seven percent, four hundred and fifty eight percent, and five hundred and seventy two percent, respectively. So what are we seeing here? We're seeing that a coin's uh, position as relative to the global market cap and its maximum supply of coins is a major, major factor in what the upside is for that coin. If we go to $3 trillion in market cap and everything stays the same, the upside for these coins is 277, 371, 171, and 208, relatively speaking. And again, there are other factors involved. Like I said, if you're betting that one of these coins becomes a global standard uh, for the thing they're trying to solve or the value proposition that they bring to the marketplace, of course, that can increase or 
it could decrease. But you need to think about this because what I see people doing is they see a coin for 10 cents and they're thinking, oh my gosh, well, if this coin goes to $10,000, look how wealthy I'm going to be. Well, you have to do the math because in many of the cases, such as a coin like Cardano, for a Cardano, if we go back, for Cardano to go from 71 cents to just five bucks would mean that it has more than tripled its relative market cap compared to the global market cap for cryptocurrency. It, if, if you, for some of these coins, and let me give you another example. So let me show you what I mean by that. This is a different way of looking at these numbers. But let's say this is a different table I created. And let's say we wanted to just see, could Cardano get to $5 per coin? Well, for Cardano to go from $0.71 cents to $5 a coin would mean that it would have to jump from 3% of the global market cap to almost 13% of the global market cap. Is that realistic? Could, would you be willing to bet on that? You see, for IOTA to go from $3 to $10, it only has to go from 1.36% to 2.7% of the global market cap. For Litecoin to go from 212 to 350, it barely has to budge from 1.83 to 1.2 or 92 percent of the global market cap. This is probably realistic. This is probably realistic. This is probably not realistic. And by the way, if we want Bitcoin to jump to $25,000 a share a coin, we're going to have to go up almost 8 percent of the global market cap. That means Bitcoin is going to have to gain ground when it already is the dominant coin. So again, it's not everything. It's not the only factor, but it is a major factor. Don't jump into these coins without doing the math. How much market share does the coin have today versus how much could it possibly have? And what would that mean to the price if everything stays relatively the same? Now, the last thing I want to say here is this. Where would you find this information? You're going to go right here. You're going to go to a place called CoinMarketCap.com. CoinMarketCap.com. You click on any given coin and it will give you a bunch of different tools to show you what's going on with that coin. It'll show you the circulating supply right here. That's how many exist today. It'll show you the max supply, which is this right here. And of course, um, it will tell you what the market cap is right here. And if you want to know what the global market cap is, you can see it right here at the top. You can search for any cryptocurrency you want. You just start typing one in. It takes you to that cryptocurrency and there you go. Here's the current price, its current market cap, the circulating supply, the max supply, and of course the global market cap is up here at the top. I hope that this has been valuable to you guys. Listen, hit that like button. Please subscribe to these videos. Um, if you want more information, you can check it out at scottrossonline.com and follow me on Twitter where I post new information on a daily basis. Until next time, God bless you guys.